This is Dug Up Stone for Doc Sports, and I am back with another free pick this time in the NFL. So yes, we're ready for some NFL action. I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna enjoy this free pick. Okay, like it, like it quite a bit. So we're gonna give that to you just a second. Hey, NFL picks. I'm on a 19 and seven run. That's 73 percent the last six weeks. So have just been torching the sports books, okay, recently. So that's all good news to see if we can continue that. I believe that's up over $5,800 based on units. So like I said, it's been strong. It's been consistent. It's been reliable, okay? And that's that's what I strive to be. That's the whole point of this is to be reliable, be consistent, and keep delivering winners. And that's what I'm intending to do again this week. And this week, I got a big six-unit best bet going on Sunday. And so you can check that out at Docs for just $30. That's right, best bet for just $30. And if you combine my six-unit or higher plays this season, okay, in football across the board, I'm 10 and 3. 10 and 3, which is 76.9% this season. So check out my big six-unit play. Best bet in the NFL on Sunday at the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. All right, let's get to then to the free play. The Minnesota Vikings are going to visit the Green Bay Packers in this one. Now, Aaron Rodgers comes in to this one, and he is running an offense that is just on fire, in part thanks to him. He's having a great season. Uh, other than the Tampa Bay game, the offense has been extremely strong. Uh, part of that. I mean, uh, Roger's not a youngster anymore. Nope, he certainly is not. And so with that, though, he's he's Matt LaFleur has come in and has helped him. He's created a balanced attack, which features a lot of running. But this year, there's also a lot more of Rogers throwing the ball, which has made, I think, him happier okay, to be able to do that. And it again, it created a great deal of balance uh, this year. And, and with Rogers' knowledge, Boy, that really keeps the opposing defenses on the defensive, okay, trying to figure out what he's going to do next and how they're how he's going to attack them. Now, Minnesota comes into this game one and five, and they're coming off a bye week, and they have scuffled all season long. The defensive roster last year was turned over, had some uh had some age on it, so they decided to get younger, particularly through the draft. And, you know, with that comes growing pains, and the Vikings are allowing 32 points per game. Offensively, uh, Kirk Cousins, that contract is like an albatross for Minnesota fans. It's not good. And he has 10 interceptions this season. And the Vikings have committed two or more turnovers in four of their six games. That's not a good combination. With that, that does not seem to bode well for the Vikings as they head to the frozen tundra, which at least at last report was going to be also quite windy. I think the situation favors Green Bay uh, just across the board. And I think there's some actual ability to get some line value here because the line has been bouncing for the Packers between minus six to minus seven. And if you can get anything under minus seven, Seems like a great deal of value to me to grab the lower number. So I'm going to recommend the Packers at minus six or six and a half. If it goes to seven, you can do it. Okay. Not afraid of it. Okay. If it's true, worst thing that happens, you get a tie. But if you can get six or six and a half and you like the Packers, that's the way to go. And that's the what I'm recommending to you for the free pick. So there you have it. Free pick. I will be back next week on Tuesday, okay, with some more free picks. And But as always, I'll have a free pick posted on Monday at my page at the Docs website. So just to conclude, one last thing, six-unit best bet goes Sunday in the NFL. So check it out. 76%, 77% winners on those types of plays. Check it out. This is Doug Upstone for Docs Sports. Until next week, have a great Sunday. I plan to. And... I'm out.